Let me give all honor, all praises, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhak with us, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakhak with us. The Rakhak with us is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Double honor goes out to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyam, Wazakwanyam all around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and in sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, all your call with the men of Valley, South Carolina, coming back with another lesson. And I uh, just want to harp on real quick how uh, the scriptures don't contradict themselves. All right? The scriptures do not contradict themselves. All right? Um... Because you got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, so-called Christians and, and and this and that, the vocab Malones. You got all these people, all right, that try to come up against the Hebrew Israelites, uh, try to bring out scriptures to try to debunk the things that we're saying, all right? And they're reading out of uh, the same Bible, <laughs> the same Bible, all right? So there's no way that the things that they're saying and the things that we're saying okay uh is supposed to contradict themselves all right but they just lack the true knowledge wisdom and understanding of the scriptures all right so they'll try to pull out a precept to think that they can cut the whole doctrine all right of of the hebrew israelites no the scriptures do not contradict themselves and the scriptures that they use they ha don't have understanding of them all right so just wanted to harp on that all right because there's always somebody coming up this how you deal with the israelites this what you say to the hebrew israelites or use this scripture against the hebrew israelites all right but the scriptures do not contradict themselves and they uh believe that the scriptures contradict themselves all right so this like one example like this guy got on the screen right here um uh, from the elder video he did a video on it but uh let's, let's grab some precepts though try to run through these real quick like all right so this is second timothy 3 and 16 all scripture is given by inspiration of yahweh by shim yahweh and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness so all scripture is given by inspiration of yahweh by shim yahweh all right from genesis to revelation all right, this is uh, 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 inspiration of Yahweh by Hashem outside, all right, on one accord. All right, this is Jeremiah 6 and 21. Therefore, this said Yahweh, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. So the Lord has stumbling blocks, all right? These scriptures are, are stumbling blocks to two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and of course, the heathen nations. Now, they might have some things right, all right, uh, say like the heathen scholars. They might have uh, the Daniels things right, know what certain kingdoms are which, but what do they don't have right? That uh, only the Israelites can be saved, all right? The uh, mystery of, of uh, the Jew and the Greek. These are things that these people don't have correct. All right, these are things uh, that are stumbling blocks, like I said, to first and foremost to two-thirds of our people, okay? And you got to have the Rakhakwadas, the Holy Spirit, to understand these things and get these things, all right? And if you don't got it, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Uh, this is Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Because they was trying to hit Yahweh Shah with that. They was trying to uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, the wicked scribes and Pharisees was trying to make Yahweh Shai, uh make it seem like he was going against what the Old Testament said. But, and he had to tell them, no, he did not come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill them. All right, Yahweh Shai fulfilled the law. All right, because what? He kept the law perfectly. And he shed his blood for our forgiveness of sins for uh, us breaking the law, all right? So he, what, fulfilled the law, all right? But so is the law done away with? No. But do we get put to death for breaking the law? No, Yahweh Shai, 
uh, shed that blood for us. All right, these are things that these people don't understand because they think what? That the scriptures contradict themselves and they do not. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahashah is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So there is no scripture that uh, can contradict another scripture. All right, all these scriptures are in accord. All right, all these scriptures are are lined up with each other. Okay? That's why you got to do what? Eat the whole roll. The Old Testament, the New Testament with the Apocrypha. You got to eat the whole roll. All right? And have the correct uh, teachers and have the Rakakwadas to understand that these scriptures do not uh, contradict themselves. So there's no one precept you can pull that'll shut down the Hebrew Israelite ministry. All right? Because hey, a lot of people get on this internet and, and try to debunk. All right, the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. These words of Yahweh Bashem Shah are faithful and true. Okay? These words do not contradict themselves. So you got to have the Holy Spirit to understand, okay? Uh, uh, what these scriptures are talking about The heavenly father Gotta put the spirit on you To understand it And the angels The certain angels that what uh, Block people from understanding And getting this thing Hard as they might try But they just can't get it They just can't uh, Get the understanding Of certain topics Such as the Jew and the Greek Okay And the scriptures say what uh, Roughly paraphrasing Understanding is uh easy unto uh the righteous roughly paraphrasing all right it's the second peter 1 and 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation so these scriptures are not some private interpretation that if somebody can get it another can't no all right you got to have a recoquedos to get it to understand it and the correct teachers breaking these scriptures down right and it'll all come together like a perfect uh like a puzzle man Okay. Hey, these people be trying hard to uh, <laughs> uh, find certain scriptures that can debunk other scriptures, which is not happen, which can't happen, because what the, we just read, the Lord is not the author of confusion. Second Peter three and fourteen, where wherefore beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of Him in peace without spot and blameless. In account that the long suffering of the Lord is salvation, and even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Okay, let's let's look, keep going. Verse sixteen, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. All right, so these scriptures. You got to have the Holy Spirit on you, the Rakakodash, to understand these things because sometimes the way that they were written, are, uh, as is speaking about uh, the Apostle, was what? Hard to be understood. Okay? So one might not get that the Lord has a chosen people. One might not get that uh, um, we are saved by grace. Okay? But the laws are not done away with. Okay? One might not get to the Jew and to the Greek. Don't understand the history of how the Israelites became Hellenists. All right. It says, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. Yes. Or the unlearned and unstable wrestle with these scriptures. That's why you got hella Christians coming up trying to debunk the things that Hebrew Israelites say. It says, as they do also the other scriptures. Unto their own destruction. Yeah, these people are wrestling with these scriptures, are tussling, uh, having a fight. Can't understand it, can't get it. But that's ultimately because the Lord is blocking their understanding from getting these things. All right, because they're what? Not of the elect. And us brothers that get it, Adonai Ratazah, Lord willing, we are of that elect number. So be um, uh, happy, be grateful that we understand these things and can get 
these scriptures and understand that certain these scriptures do not contradict themselves. All right. So I just wanted to harp on that real quick, giving all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash, Shalom.